That was Jaheem, just in case. So it seems that it, as if we live in a society where not only do they want to tell you how to act, which I think society has an obligation to do, um, but they want to tell you what to think. We do not all think alike. We do not have the same ideas and attitudes. I think what we owe one another is respect for differing opinions. And I have always tried to have that. I'm not going to tell you that I like everything or pretend to like everything, but I'm also not going to tell you that my opinion is a pervasive one. I've always done my best to listen to people, hear what they have to say. Uh, I'm not trying to uh, make people see things my way, and I hope people will try not to make me see things their way. But mutually, we have to respect what each other does. There are a lot of things I do not like and will not pretend to. If I uh, have something to say, generally I will, and I would rather, and I said this before, I would rather be misunderstood than misquoted. I think that a lot of times people catch conversations in, 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 in the first part or the last part and make out of it what they will. I'm, I'm generally very clear about it. I don't have to like that a man shows up at the Oscars in a wedding dress. I don't have to like uh, that I see a disparity in the way that we go after these people and not the, these people. I have to respect differing opinions. We're all entitled to that. We're all entitled to the way we see things. Uh, you're a sum total of your life's experiences, and they will lead you one way, and mine will lead me another. We do not have to like everything. By the sheer definition of acceptance means you probably don't like something. But we live in a society where not only do they want to tell you how to, what to do and how to act, but what to think. And that would be great if society were as genteel or as welcoming as they pretended to be. You want to know how society really is? Just look on Facebook and Twitter after any event. Look under the anonymous avatar and you'll see exactly who we are. You do not have to like everything. You don't have to participate in everything. You don't have to understand everything. And that, that goes for me too. We have to understand that people have different understandings. We have to be respectful of people's opinions, even if they conflict with our own. Liking everything is not going to solve everything. Pretending to like everything won't solve everything. Having to say what you have to say, clear, uh, without, without encumbered by vitriol or hatred or animus or anger, I don't like it, I'll tell you I don't like it, you can deal with it after that, and you can tell me the same thing. I think more than anything else, more than pretending to like each other, more pretending to accept each other, more, pretending, more than pretending to be on one accord, we should all pretend to be respectful, or at least really try to be. I, there are a lot of things I don't like. And, uh, and, and if you've listened to me any number of times on this broadcast, you have a pretty good idea of what they are and who they are. But I will do my best to try to be respectful. And again, I'll say this. There are a lot of people who will take things that I say and take them out of context and attach whatever meaning they want to them. I'm not here to audit your version of me. I'm not here to tell you who, who I am to you. I'm not here to tell you or explain myself to you. But understand this. I would rather, and I said this at the beginning and I'll say it again, I would rather be misunderstood than misquoted. If you're going to lie on me, Tell the truth. That's a little note from the GED section. We've got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughley Show.